Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, right? Welcome to the Nerd Chronicles once again. This is your host, okay? Proud Lame, socially awkward nerd with no game, Christian Paul, okay? And others may deem me in this um, for all the other outlets that I actually want to actually give a um, quick tour with this whole um, ordeal with this episode here. For many of you who don't know, my name is Robert Paul. Um, Robert is my first name. Some people call me Bob. Um, Bobby for short as well. And we already know the middle names, Christian and Emil. Right? Bachelors of Civil Engineering. Bachelors of Engineering and Civil Engineering at the University of Delaware in 2013. Master of Arts in Applied Mathematics and Statistics at Hunter College in 2018. Um, PT candidate for a year and a half at Howard University in Mathematics as well. So, at least he does have some certain decency if you will now let's take things away out of my quick introduction here i want to give a um quick edification when it comes to communication right as it has come to my knowledge right as of recent right we know that a couple of uh, mainstay social media influencers I'm not going to say any names. You guys can mainly figure it out. Um, you can figure it out for yourselves if you choose to. They have been banned by the four main social media sites over the past few months. And because their content has been so down to the extreme when it comes to communication, it ended up reaching not only all the platforms of social media, but it ended up reaching mainstream all over the world. To the point where you see a certain clip end up reaching the United States Capitol. Right off of Capitol Hill. Shout out to all my folks from the DMV, by the way. D.C., Maryland, Virginia. Washington, D.C., Maryland, Virginia. If you, if, you, if you aren't aware whatsoever. Shout out to them, right? The quick posts that you will be seeing when it comes to Capitol Hill. Some of the language that you're about to hear will be extremely graphic. I will be editing, like having a clean version of this out. Um, if you're not aware, or I'll just like literally delete it all together, there will be a clean version of this minus that clip. I will link it down below um, in case you still want to actually dig more further into it, right? So, um, with that, okay, um, it has been some insanity um, when it comes to these things, and we can all learn from these ordeals and with all these certain bannings from these creators that we could definitely learn from, right? My um, speech therapist at the time, I grew up with her, actually learned some stuff when it comes to communication, when it comes to certain speech, when it comes to body language, actually how to speak with people, how to pronunciate words, you know, the whole nine yards. And my parents actually recommended me to her when I was actually very young, as young as three to four years old, right? From childhood to now. Years ago, she recommended me this book called Socially curious, curiously social. You know, you can definitely find it in your Amazon. You can definitely find it up in your Barnes and Noble if you choose to look at it. She so gave it to me as a free gift, and it it, it 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 has been like a Bible to me that I intend to keep, literally for the rest of my life as long as I'm breathing on this earth, right? Because the social world as we know it, when you incorporate social media, when you incorporate Work life in the social realm. When you incorporate modern dating, when you incorporate social dating, right? Everything is evolving at a very fast clip, quicker than we ever know. Okay? And I want you to please heed my words and what I'm saying. Okay? And my speech therapist mainly told me this there's always a time and a place for everything. Okay, where he's explained certain in one situation rather than the other. Okay, the four main social media platforms, right? Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and you add TikTok to the list being your power five. Okay, you add the power five to the list. All right, you add that down. Understand they got favoritism. Understand they are reliance. On other big time companies, okay, big time promoters, big time celebrities actually paying them to promote their products. 
And they do not want their bag of money being messed up. Okay? They do not want some of their consumer bases, right? And I'll give you a little bit of a hint. The majority of consumers that actually purchase when it comes to money and actually consumer goods, most of the stuff is purchased by women. If I'm not mistaken, about 70% of the goods that are actually consumed, literally up in America, are consumed and purchased by women. And I actually found that out through a book that um, they has, um, Why We Buy, um, that's actually titled by an economist. I'll look it up. I'll provide you with that link as well. I'll actually show that to you. Okay? There's a time and a place for everything. You have to be wary on what you say and how you say things. You have to be very smooth with your communication if you're on certain big time platforms that you don't own. Okay? Even if you to go on Rumble. Even if you have a new account on Rumble where you may have like a little bit more leads and free seats at any given moment for any given reason, even they can take you down. Okay? Even they can actually terminate your account for whatever reason that they deem offensive, however it may be, based on the mindset that that company has. Okay? Understand that. There's always a time and a place for everything. You can't be fully going all gung-ho up on YouTube and all of a sudden be fully reckless with what you say and what you post. Otherwise, it could threaten your livelihood financially. It could threaten your whole bank account. It could actually threaten your future life for years to come. And what you, once you post something up online, up in person, it's there forever. Okay? I literally want to let you guys know that. Right? And if you actually want to try and go gung-ho and say whatever you want to say, your best bet, Create your own website. Make sure it's licensed in whatever country it is. That's not going to actually limit your speech depending on what their mindset is. Either whether it's an American country or it's in a foreign country, however it may be. You know, get your own site. Get your own streaming service. And once you get all these things together, you'll be able to say whatever the heck you want to say. Okay? And part of me in the background, I know I have a dog that I'm literally penning down below behind the scenes. That's literally trying to get her quality time and getting her validation on. So she's literally getting the pen on. I digress. Now, when you try to convey your message, okay, there's nothing wrong with conservative. Um, there's nothing wrong with constructive criticism towards anybody. You can still you can still criticize people, but it has to be in a way where the communication is literally smooth, okay. And if it gets to a point where there's actually some resistance and non-compliance to the point where it's going to be literally hardcore jury shooting and drama up in here, ghost them, cut them off. Move on to the next. You don't want that type of drama that's actually going on in your circle. That's going on in your profession. Okay? So, with that. So, on sense of advice. Learn from the gentleman that got banned. Okay? Please take note. If you're socially impaired like I am. Please try and get this book on your local Amazon or your local Barnes & Noble. Okay? Very, very important that you do. Extremely important that you do. Right, socially curious and curiously social um, by Michelle uh, Garcia winner and Pamela Crook. Um, they're actually there. You can actually Google them up. I'll provide a link with that as well. And with that, you know, with all the stuff that's really been going on, right? You know, and they can cry all this hashtag free so and so, all this stuff. Ain't, ain't a free and it's a banning. Okay, get your own site, get your own streaming service that you can try to build an accord with the money that you have. And then once you get those done, you can do whatever you want to do with them. With that, it's Christian Paul, Lily off pumping iron. Christian Paul for the Nerd Chronicle signed out. Anywhere else, you know. One more thing, right? Part two of um, the analysis when India's data set will be coming this weekend. That I promise you. No, off to the gym for me. <laughs>